Hey, what's up guys, it's your boy Nick Returns, back at it again with another Madden 16 Ultimate Team video. And as you can see, I got some upgrades to my squad. I'm now 90 overall, and I just did this commentary for like the second time now, because I wasn't recording my mic the first time, my mic was turned off. And the second time, I didn't press record, and now I'm pretty pissed off, so I just want to get this commentary over with and done with. And so I'm starting the game off two minutes into the second quarter. I run the ball, it's a 5-6 trap play in the... Well, what's it called? The Ravens playbook. And then I get a good gain, about six. And then I run my screen, right? I run a screen. And then I'm getting some good blocks. But that man dove through the number 72's leg. I don't understand how the fuck that happened. But then I run a hurry up offense. I got the first down, trying to get him off guard, trying to see what he's going to run next play. I run the um, screen next play. I just fuck him up. And then I got good blocks all the way down the field. And they're 69. Impact blocking right there, and then he dove behind me. I don't know what he's trying to do, and I showboat. You know how we do. Gotta be a savage. And this man always like to do two point conversions through the whole game. And this man, his run game pissed me off because I cannot stop it. Yet he just ran the same run plays the whole game, and I just couldn't do anything about it because like I was trying to stop it, but I didn't figure out what he was doing until like halfway through like the third quarter, the beginning of the second, like the end of the second quarter, and so I felt kind of dumb. I felt very dumb. And then he just keeps running those damn inside zones and trying to keep stopping them, but I wasn't really paying attention, so I didn't really know what plays he was running. Because I just kept, like, oh, I was watching Netflix or something. I don't fucking know what I was doing. But, yeah, he had Doug Martin. I don't know if it's a team of the, week, team of the year, team of the week, or the 91 overall. But he was running. He had Tom Brady as well. He almost threw an interception right there. I don't know who he's guard defending that, but he was pretty good. And then I tried to jump the gap, but his lineman... Pick that shit up. And Marcel Reese, he kept breaking tackles all game. And it pissed me off. And he had Danny Woodhead as well. I think it was Danny Woodhead. Some white dude, number 39. I don't know. Pretty sure it was Danny Woodhead. And then he liked to throw these tight end drag routes. And I tried to keep covering them. They didn't really work out in my favor. And then Doug Martin just kept just fucking everybody up and just breaking tackles and shit. And it was annoying the hell out of me. And he just span out of like five people. And then came up to my safeties to get him. And then Vic Beasley got that right there. You know, he run, tried to run the screen. And then he just threw it to his wide receiver. Uh, stopped him from um, getting a six. And then he ran the halfback toss. He liked that play a lot. And then he ran out of bounds. <clears throat> oh, sorry, guys. My throat has to be cleared. And um, still not cleared up probably. I sound like, probably sound like a robot. That's the thing I sound like right now. And then he threw it. Couldn't get him. And I realized this time he was trying to run the clock down, so he, I couldn't score before halftime. And then third down in goal around the two-yard line. Didn't get it. Hurry up. He hurry ups offense. And fourth in goal, two. <laughs> Doesn't get it. I'm just lurking there with whoever that was. And look at this next play. Look at this. PA all go to an, San, a wide open San Antonio Holmes. And then... I don't even know. <clears throat> and look at this. I'm so worried right here. I was showboating, and I thought he was going to catch up to me, and I was going to fumble. And there's so many times in this game where I thought my showboating was going to result in, like, a turnover. But thank God I didn't right there because that would have been the cheesiest shit ever, and I would have, like, probably, like, laughed at myself. And so, a 31-yard line, three minutes left. Oh, we're getting into the third quarter, actually. And I run off with Todd Gurley, you know, and get my gain on, like, eight, nine, whatever. And then I to run a wide receiver screen and watch what happens this play. Boom, man. San Antonio Holmes get destroyed. I don't know who the fuck did that, but he dead. San Antonio Holmes got murdered. I was just saying that the whole time afterwards. I was like, man, that man dead. He is gone. And then, lo and behold, next play, Philly Brown is returning instead of San Antonio Holmes. And so he's just trying to get some good yards. at the 25. I run this weird-ass play, right? And then I throw it to Philly Brown, and he, like, is sitting on top of that man's shoulders. You know how, like, little girls or little boys sit on top of their parents' shoulders? And, like, as a kid, whatever, like, went to the music park. And then, yeah, Todd Gurley broke out a run. You know, it doesn't matter. You know, that always happens. And, um, yeah, it happened. And so I'm going for a two-point conversion. Going for a two-point conversion. And I get it because that man kept doing them. So now the score is 22 to 16. And he has the ball 20-yard line. You know, just trying to run my defense. And I just kept trying to know what he was doing. He was running a inside zone here. I tried to stop it, but he got out to the outside. I don't think he got that many yards. Yeah, he got backwards two yards, I think. Something like that. So, 23-yard line, about two minutes left. 
Yeah, Denny Woodhead in the backfield. I'm just going to call him Denny Woodhead. Um, pass play. And then, lo and behold, he go, throws it at Calvin. I couldn't stop him. He kept annoying the shit out of me. And I tried to stop this run, too, but he just has really good blockers running down the field. And I couldn't do anything about that, either. Mm. Ooh. Gosh dang. I just had pizza. And then, I'm lurking with Khalil Mack. Trying to get the interception didn't really work out in my favor. Man, if Kulimak was like five like feet taller, he probably would have got that. And then, yeah, gets the loss of two. And then I tried to jump the run, jump the run, and then Marcel Reese is just the fucking boss and broke through like two people, like five people's tackles. And then he throws it to his tight end, Big Beasley. He just cock blocked my interception, and then Ronald Darby almost got an interception. Didn't really work out though. And then I got Hendricks coming through the gap. Didn't really work out either. Nothing worked out that drive in my favor. And then we scores. So the score is 22 22. And then he goes for a two point conversion. And I stuffed the run. He doesn't get it. Um, TJ Ward came out of nowhere and just messed up that run play. So it's all good. And so 20 yard line, the start of the fourth quarter. See how things roll out. I run that same 5 6 trap play. Almost got somewhere. But he broke two tackles, but that man on the ground got him. It was pretty cheesy. And I. It's a wide open in San Antonio Holmes again. And just running down the field. Another really good touchdown play. And I got it. I got it. Got the touchdown. Go for the two-point conversion make an eight-point game. And so I get it. I didn't think I got it there for a second. I would I would have like been mad. So the score is 30 to 22. With about three minutes left in the the whole game. As in where Cooper returned the kick. Doesn't get that far. I don't think only gets like the 25. Yeah, he gets the 25 and I like, knock him out of bounds. And I would like to run the dime. Just how I do. I run. I think I ran a double sky blitz, trying to see what he would do. And I shot the wrong gap. And it's pretty stupid. It probably would have been the same kind of run play because I, I had a deep zone coverage, but I didn't do that. I just that wasn't planned to my whatever I was supposed to be playing. And so. He runs the same inside zone. I thought he was going to go to the outside, but he actually cut back inside and tried to get him. And then he throws it to his tight end again, and he didn't get it. Thank God. That would have been really bad. That would have been terrible. But I probably would have scored anyway and won the, won the game. So, eh, who cares. I'm going out the no running back formation, no backfield at all. And then I'm lurking with Khalil Mack again. Doesn't work out. And then he throws it to Michael Floyd. And he gets the big gain. And about a minute left in the fourth quarter. Throws it to Michael Floyd again. I want him to score that play just so I can get back on offense so I can, like, win the game because, you know, I have really good faith in my offense. And he just ran out of bounds, and he just kept trying to run the ball. And then he just finally scored with about 40 seconds left. And then he kicks the ball back off to me, you know. And yeah, San Antonio Holmes in the backfield. In that backfield, the return man, whatever. I get to a uh, pretty good run about the 21, 26, something like that, and then uh, run a screen. I think it does okay. Yeah, it does okay. And um, he could have uh, broke some tackles, and I, um, what's it called? Uh, no huddle. So Antonio Holmes caught the ball. I thought it was going to be an interception, to be honest with you guys. And then I'm running, like, off the tackle, and then I go inside. I cut. I cut again, and I showboat. And this is this is the title of the video over here. Showboating gone wrong. That's, that was the worst mistake I've ever had in my life. I could have easily won that game, but instead I gotta take my chances in overtime. Get Amari Cooper turn the ball again. I never win with the coin toss in overtime, so I had to, you know, I had to defense it out, and then I stopped the run. Kinda. He goes about five yards, and then I'm lurking with Kendricks right here, and then bam. User pick, you know how we do. And then I kick a field goal, 47, 41, and I I win the game. Yeah. I win the game. Yeah. That's how we do. And I think in the end I had like 281 passing yards and like something like that. Yeah, here it's coming up right now. And yeah, this has been a good video, guys. Betty Boy Nick returns. Peace out. I only call you when it's